think my camera's working just fine. Okay. Hey everyone, so this is Confessions of a Shoeaholic. And the questions here, I think there's about 14 questions. I can't answer every single one of them because I just don't have an answer for them. But the ones that I can answer, I will answer. And the first one is asking if I like heels or flats better. And I, I'm going to have to say I'm a heels girl. I am 5'7", but I do have a shorter... My, my legs are shorter proportionately to my torso. I think I have a long torso, but I mean, I don't look like a freak or super disfigured or anything like that. But, you know, heels also are just overall more flattering for people. It just elongates your legs and all that great stuff. It can only do you good. Okay, so what are your go-to shoes? My go-to shoes are definitely my nude pumps. Um, I wear my nude pumps everywhere. I pack them everywhere because they go with everything. Everything. I mean, every color of the rainbow, they go with it. So, um, I actually have three pairs. This is one of them. I have this one, and this is probably about, I don't know, I'm not very good at like estimating length, height, whatever. Maybe three inches, I would say. And I typically don't wear anything more than three and a half, only because I'm already on the taller side, so I don't want to look like a giant. I also own this one in a shorter one, maybe about two and a half, and then the other one is just a little bit darker than this because I need it for the summer when I am a little bit more dark. And let's see, what is your current um, shoe trend, your favorite shoe trend at the moment? And I'm going to have to say that booties, wedged booties are currently in my face. I'm actually looking for a black one right now, and it doesn't have to be a wedge, it could be a heel, but I just want a really cute booty, and I have my eye on one, but I haven't bought it yet because I'm sort of trying to limit um, how much I spend. So, these are one of my favorite ones right now that I have. These are cut out with a little peep toe here, and a wedge. They're really com comfortable to walk in. I love wedges for that reason. You can just walk forever in them. Also, these are super light. And um, because of these little geometric shaped cutout um, in the shoe, you can definitely wear these with something very simple and plain and it'll add like pizzazz to your outfit. Very easy and simple, dressy, stylish outfit. Uh, okay, so my next question that I could answer is, what is your least favorite trend? And I'm gonna have to say that those really crazy heels with like they're like super high and they're like Z-shaped or something. I'm not a big fan of those because one, they're super high and two, they look a little too futuristic for me. But I know that other people like them and that's totally cool because some people can pull it off. I don't think I can. All right, so what is your most expensive shoe? I don't really own anything expensive. I would say that maybe my most expensive shoe are my Cole Han boots, which I will show you. And I actually got these as a Christmas present a year ago. And they look like this. They're super comfortable. They're Cole Haan and it actually has a Nike Air insole or something like that made into it. I don't know, it's really comfortable. Like I can walk forever in these heels. I love them. The color is beautiful. The leather is pretty. And these are my favorite boots. So yes. Okay, um, what are your most wanted pair? That's a question that I'm going to skip because I don't really understand that question. Um, what's your most embarrassing sh shoe story? Okay, so this one is actually going to be a story about when I was around 18 or 19 years old. I went over to my friend Jay's apartment. Um, my friend Jay and Rich were there. We were hanging out. And then after a while, I went back home and I was looking for my shoe. Now, I walked out of my shoe. I walked out of my shoe. I walked out of my house in tennis shoes, and as I was leaving, I put my tennis shoe on, and I was like, "Jay, what happened to my other shoe?" And we usually keep the shoes outside before we step into the house, so I thought maybe somebody stole it. But I was like, "Why would somebody steal one pair of shoe?" And so he had, he, me, Rich, and Jay's parents were looking for my shoes, and we were looking everywhere for it, and we couldn't find it. And then come, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes later. I came to this conclusion that I had worn two different shoes out of my house. It was so embarrassing. Everyone was just laughing at me. His parents had a good old laugh about it too. And since then, they sort of called me One Shoe Beth. So One Shoe Beth is the shoe story. Just FYI. It's okay. I can laugh about it now. It was really embarrassing back then though. Okay. Um, pick a shoe and share a story. I think I just did that. 
How many pairs of shoes do you own? I want to say maybe about 25. I definitely don't own more than 50. For sure. Um, but maybe a little bit more than 25. But I'll just say 25 because I don't own more than 50. That I know. Um, let's see what else. When was the first time you wore heels? I want to say probably sometime in middle school. Like 8th grade-ish. Probably for a dance. Um, how much do you spend on shoes? I don't spend a lot on shoes. I would probably say that I would spend up to about like $100 on a pair of shoes that I really, really, really liked. But typically, I'll say about $60. I'll spend about $60 on a pair of shoes. What are your favorite places to buy shoes? Anywhere. Anywhere where there's a good deal, whether it be TJ Maxx, DSW, Ross, um, any shoe outlet or department store, Urban Outfitters, anywhere. Oh, Zappos online? Anywhere, really. I just, I like browsing. Um, I like going to places where they don't hassle you, like they don't climb up your back and ask you if you need anything every two minutes. I just sort of like shopping at ease without anybody breathing down my back. Okay, and the next question is, have you got a pair of shoes you regret purchasing? I do. I do, and they are my Toms. I don't know where my other side went. But my Tom shoes, these are super cute. They're a houndstooth wedge. They're heavy and they're not comfortable. So that's why I regret purchasing them. And I'm really hesitant about returning them. I mean, I want to return them, but I mean, I don't know if like they take away the shoes that they're supposed to give to, you know, cause it's um, buy one, get one. So if you buy a pair of shoes, they send somebody else like in a needy, in a country where there's needy children or needy people who need shoes, they send them a pair of shoes too. So I don't know like, you know, if they take away that shoe they give to, you know, to that needy child if I return this. I don't know how it works. I've been hesitant on returning it, but it's not comfortable and it actually really hurts to walk in these. I'm really disappointed in that because they're so super cute and I really, really wanted to like them really bad. Um, so yeah, I do regret buying these. And they're like $70. So, anyway, um, I think I'm on to my last question and it says, show your favorite pair of shoes. My favorite pair of shoes are so cute. They are these shoes right here. I got these at Urban Outfitters and this was $69, I think, or maybe $65, or maybe $60, something like that. They're super sparkly, they're kind of pointy, and they have a kitten heel, which makes it super comfortable to walk in, and it's cushioned in here, so it's really comfortable, and they're just really, really, ah, sorry. They're super cute. Very easy to walk in. They're very shimmery. They add glamour to whatever you wear. I love these shoes. Love them. Okay, that's it for my shoe haul. Not shoe haul, but my confessions tag. But these are probably the ones that I showed you are probably amongst my favorite shoes that I own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and now you guys got a taste of the things that I like. And yeah. Oh, my glasses. These are glasses that are from What's that website called? Coastal Contacts. Um, I love these glasses. And thank God for the YouTuber something Lynn. I'm going to totally link her link down below. Because without her sharing the story about how she got these glasses that she bought for 10 bucks each. Because all you do is pay for shipping. Because your first pair that you ever buy with them plus prescription is free. So I chose these glasses and you know my total came out to be like 10 something and that's basically just shipping. I love these. Um, I got so many compliments when I wore them to work. It's just a conversation piece and I love funky nerdy glasses and I totally think this is me. So thank you so much and thank you for watching. I will keep you guys posted on my next video about my next haul. So that is coming, I promise you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.